Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a very easy blanket. I'll be adding teddy bear appliques to the blanket for a teddy bear's picnic. So I'll be making my blanket in green for the grass and blue for the sky, but it could be made in one colour. The blanket I'll be making today will be smaller than the one I'm showing you, just to make it easier to film. This large blanket is for a cot and measures 36 inches by 54 inches or 91 and a half centimetres by 137 centimetres. And the blanket I'll make today will measure about 30 inches by 35 inches or 76 centimetres by 89 centimetres. Now I'll be using this beautiful 8-ply luxury wool from Bendigo Woolen Mills, a wool mill in Victoria, Australia. The balls are 200 grams each and the blanket will be able to be washed in the washing machine. The colours I've got are baby blue and baby mint. 8-ply wool is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK, but this blanket could be made in any weight yarn. For the larger blanket, I use three balls of green and two of blue, but I'm not sure how much wool I'll use for the smaller blanket, but think two of green and one or two of blue. I've also got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, and a four millimetre crochet hook. I'm starting at the bottom of the blanket, and I want my blanket to measure 30 inches or 76 centimetres across. I'm planning on having a very simple edging on the blanket, just two rows, so that won't make it much bigger. I know I'll need about 131 chain for this blanket, but to find out how many chain you'll need, crochet a length of chain the width, of, width you want your blanket to be. You will need an odd number of chain. And then when I'm getting close to finishing the first row, I measure again and then I undo any excess chain. So I'll start with 131 chain. I crochet them quite loosely.
Now that's 131 chain. I'll just measure it to make sure it's the right length and then I'll be back. Now I've got the right amount of chain and I've added a few extra just so I can show you how to undo the excess. For row one, we miss the first three chain and we work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the fourth chain from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through the first two loops, yarn around the hook and take a hook through the next two loops. Next we work a single crochet into the following stitch. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put the hook in to the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn through the two loops. And we repeat that all the way across. One double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet in the following stitch. And we need to finish with a single crochet in, in our last stitch. So I'll continue working across the row and I'll meet you near the end. Now I have my row one just under 30 inches and I've got a single crochet worked into the last stitch I want and I've got a few chain left that I'm going to undo. To undo the chain I put my hook into the last chain and bring the loop through and then I've got this loop at the end so I just pull it undone just the excess chain and then the last one I just pull it in so now I've got the right amount of stitches now row 2 and all the other rows will be worked the same we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work one double crochet into this first stitch into the top of the single crochet and then we work a single crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch. So at the front loop just pull it up and work it in there. That just gives it a bit of a lacy effect and then we work a double crochet into the next stitch that's into the top of the single crochet and then a single crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch which is the top of the double crochet and we repeat that all the way across so I'll continue across this row and I'll meet you at the end now I've worked a double crochet into the top of each single crochet and into the top of the double crochets I've worked a single crochet into the front loop only of each. Now I've got two stitches left I work a double crochet into the top of the last single crochet and then into the last double crochet I work a single crochet. I don't work it into the front loop only just for the last one of each row 
For the next row, I start with three chain and turn my work. And it's worked the same as the previous row. We work one double crochet into the top of the first stitch, the single crochet, and then a single crochet into the front loop only. So that loop there of the double crochet from the previous row and we repeat that all the way across a double crochet into the single crochet and then a single crochet into the front loop only that loop there and then a double crochet and a single crochet into the front loop only and we repeat that right across to the end of the row working the last single crochet into both loops rather than just the front loop So I'll continue across the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now that's row 3 done and we just repeat that row over and over until we get to the desired length. I'll be working my green until my blanket measures 23 inches. So for the following row I work 3 chain and turn my work, I work one double crochet into the first stitch which is the top of the single crochet and then I work a single crochet into the front loop only of the double crochet and just repeat one double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into the front loop only of the following stitch And the pattern's starting to take shape. So I'll continue working until I have 23 inches and I'll be back and we'll change to the blue. I've been repeating the green and row 2 until my work has measured 23 inches or 58 centimetres. I work the green for the grass two thirds of the length of the blanket and then I change to blue for the sky for the foot final third. So I'll join my blue now just in this first stitch and I work three chain. I just continue working row two just repeating that so one double crochet into the first stitch and a single crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch and repeat that all the way across a double crochet and then a single crochet in the front loop only of the following stitch So I'll continue with the blue and I'll be back when my blue measures about 11 inches to 11 and a half inches. Now my blue now measures 11 and a half inches and my blanket measures 34 and a half inches. 
So I'm going to fasten off my blue. If I was working my blanket in one colour, I wouldn't fasten off. So I'll fasten off. Now for my edging, I joined my green cotton at the first stitch on the green. So just in here. And I work one chain. And I'm going to work a single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. Now for my first row, I'm only going to work two rows of the edging because I'm going to have quite a lot of teddy bears and a picnic blanket and a tree and a few other things on my blanket. So I don't want it to get too fussy. So I'm just going to work a row of single crochet around first. Now I don't want a single crochet in every stitch so I'm going to miss a couple of stitches and work a single crochet in the next and then miss a couple more and work a single crochet just to keep my work nice and flat. And for the corner stitches I'm going to work two single crochet into each corner stitch. Now the edging staying nice and flat. So I'll continue working the green right around till I get to the blue and I'll be back and we'll join the blue together. Now I've worked my single crochet right round the green. So now I'm up to the blue, I join my blue on. Now I've had to start a new ball of blue. The end here took the whole ball. And I just work as before. Miss a couple of stitches and work a single crochet in the next and then miss a couple of stitches and another single crochet. So I'll continue working round to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end. Once I get back to the beginning of the row, I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch, but I join in my green. And work one chain. And work a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then I'm going to work two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that all the way around two chain and a single crochet in the next stitch And it's just a little bit of a lacy edging. Into the corner I'll work a single crochet, two chain 
and a single crochet in the same stitch and then work two chain and continue around and once I get to the blue I'll join in my blue and continue around the same so just two chain and a single crochet in the next stitch all the way around except in the corners where I work a single crochet into the stitch two chain and a single crochet into the same stitch so I'll complete this and I'll be back to show you the finished blanket and there's the finished baby blanket I'll be making some more teddies a picnic blanket picnic basket and some other things to go on it over the coming weeks I ended up using nearly two full 200 gram balls of green and I only just started on the second ball of blue if you like my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon thank you for watching See you next time. Bye.